Last night I was on YouTube watching some former NHL players highlights and I ended up watching some Henrik and Daniel highlights from their time in the NHL together and it really reminded me of how dominant they were together as an actual duo and it really got me thinking who were some of the other greatest duos in recent memory so I thought today's video it would be a perfect time to do the top 10 greatest NHL duos since 2000 and a quick little disclaimer here these duos did not have to play on the same line and they had to have played at least 10 seasons together during the 2000s so duos like Peter Forsberg and Joe Sackick for instance won't be on this list because they didn't play 10 seasons together during the 2000s and also if you guys don't agree with my list you don't have to freak out about it just make sure to let me know what yours would look like down in the comment section below and one last thing the ranking numbers in the thumbnail have actually no affiliation with the video that was purely just for the thumbnail and I didn't want to spoil anything so without wasting any more time let's jump right into the video starting off with the number 10 duo. Kicking the video off at number 10 we have a duo from the Ottawa Senators Daniel Alfredson and Jason Spezza. They played 10 seasons together in the NHL from the 2002-2003 season all the way up until the 2012-13 year in which that was Alfredson's final year in Ottawa before he finished off his career with the Detroit Red Wings. Now Daniel Alfredson and Jason Spezza both played a massive role in this organization basically throughout the majority of the 2000s. Their best combined season in terms of point totals was 193 combined points where Daniel Alfredson put up 103 and Jason Spezza put up 90 points. Their combined career totals only with the Ottawa Senators were 1,864 games played and 1,795 total points. Sadly, these two together were never able to win the Stanley Cup. They did come pretty close, ultimately falling short to the Anaheim Ducks in the Stanley Cup final, but this duo definitely amazing for the Ottawa Senators and they are number 10 on my list. Moving on now to the number 9 spot, a duo from the Bruins, Patrice Bergeron and Brad Marchand. The biggest reason why I have them ahead of Daniel Alfredson and Jason Spezza is because they have already won a Stanley Cup together. They just made it to the finals last year before falling short to the St. Louis Blues and they still have a lot of damage left to do. Both players still in their prime and both players coming off a career year in which Brad Marchand put up 100 points and Patrice Bergeron only put up 79 but had he have stayed healthy he definitely could have been flirting with 100 points as well. Their combined totals for their career with the Bruins 1723 games played 1,390 points between the two. The only individual awards that they have won are Patrice Bergeron's four Selkie trophies. Obviously, everybody knows him as one of the best two-way centers in the entire NHL, but that could definitely change over the coming years because they definitely, like I said, still have a lot left to give. Moving along now to the number eight duo I have from the San Jose Sharks, Joe Thornton and Patrick Marlowe. And obviously, not all Joe Thornton's amazing seasons came with the San Jose Sharks, but their best combined season was the 2006-7 year where Joe Thornton had a staggering 114 points and Patty Marlowe had 78. Their combined totals over their San Jose careers together 2,537 games played, 2,111 points. This is definitely a duo that would be a lot higher on this list if they had won the ultimate prize, the Stanley Cup. That is something that they are still chasing after now that they are teammates once again for the San Jose Sharks. This is a duo that has spent 13 seasons together, including this 2019-20 year. And for their sake, I really do hope they can have at least one more crack at winning the Stanley Cup together because if they do, they could go down as one of the best duos of all time. Moving on now to the number seven duo, I have the Anaheim Ducks, Ryan Getzlaff and Corey Perry. Obviously their time together came to an end this previous summer where the Anaheim Ducks decided to buy out Corey Perry. But still, these guys have accomplished a lot together over over their long careers and they played a long time together 14 total NHL seasons from the 2005-06 season all the way up until last season's 2018-19 year. Their best combined point total season was 76 for Getzlaff and 98 for Perry in the 2010-11 season for a total 174 points. Their combined totals over their career with the Anaheim Ducks, 1,979 games played and 1,702 points between the two. And obviously they have captured 
the ultimate goal together winning the Stanley Cup and that is a big reason why I have them ahead of some of the other duos that we've talked about so far. Next up at number six we have a duo I kind of forgot about before thinking about this video and that is Vinny LeCavalier and Marty St. Louis and their time spent together with the Tampa Bay Lightning. They played 12 seasons together from the 2000-2001 year all the way up until the 2012-13 season and they were monsters together offensively. Their best combined point total season came in the 2006-07 year where Marty St. Louis put up 102 points and Vinny LeCavalier put up 108 points for a staggering combined 210 points. Their combined point totals over their entire career with the Lightning, 2009 games played, 1,827 total points, and this is yet another duo who actually have captured the Stanley Cup together on that amazing Tampa Bay Lightning team that also featured the likes of Brad Richards, who is an amazing player for them as well. But these two guys together were definitely magic to watch, and that is why I have them so high up in this video. Moving on now to the number five ranked duo, I have my favorite players of all time, Pavel Datsuk and Henrik Zetterberg of the Detroit Red Wings. This is yet another duo who did capture the Stanley Cup together and they came oh so close to winning back-to-back -back cups but their bid fell short in the 2009 Cup Final against the Penguins but nonetheless they still had amazing careers and for the majority of the time they spent them together. Their best combined point totals came in the 2007-8 year where Pavel Datsuk put up 97 points and Henrik Zetterberg put up 92 for a combined 189 points and it wasn't just their offensive game that made them so good. They were both fantastic two-way forwards. Obviously, Pavel Datsuk, especially one of the greatest, you know, two-way forwards of all time. He won four Lady Bings, three Selkie trophies. Like I said, they did win a cup together, and Henrik Zetterberg was the Conn Smythe winner of that cup final. Obviously, I might be a little bit biased here putting them at number five, but you can't deny that they weren't a fantastic duo together. Next up, at number four, we have two of the most loved players in NHL history, the Sedin twins, Henrik and Daniel of the Vancouver Canucks. Now, if they had won a Stanley Cup, they definitely would have been at least one spot higher on this list, but because they didn't, that is the biggest reason why I have them at number four. But considering how dominant they were together offensively as a legit duo, I couldn't fathom putting them any lower than the number four spot. They have played 17 seasons together in the NHL, all the way from the 2000-2001 year up until the 2017-18 year. Their best combined point total in one season came in the 2010-11 year, where they combined for 198 points. Their combined career totals are 2,636 games played for 2,111 points. This is one of the most fun duos to watch in NHL history, and like I said, they're definitely beloved by every fan base in the entire NHL, and I definitely wouldn't argue you guys if you think they should be higher. Moving on now to the number three spot, I have the duo from the Blackhawks, Jonathan Taze and Patrick Kane, and the biggest reason why I have them ahead of the Sedin Twins is because of their three Stanley Cups, and obviously they still have a lot of time left in their careers to add to that already stacked trophy case. In this video, I really valued how their team success went together as well, and like I said, that's a big reason why Kane and Taze are so high. Their best combined season points-wise came last year, where they both posted career highs, came with 110 points, and Jonathan Taze with 81 for a combined 191 points. Points. Jonathan Tay is not a guy who's going to wow you with putting up big numbers. That's more so for Patty Kane to do, but Jonathan Tay is the guy who's going to keep everyone's head on straight on the team. He's going to be a great leader. He's going to put up decent numbers and be a great two-way forward, and most importantly, show up when it matters most in the Stanley Cup playoffs, and these guys both did every time they got there, and that is the biggest reason why they do have three Stanley Cups. Between them, they have a Calder Trophy, two Conn Smice, three Stanley Cups, an Art Ross Trophy, a Hart Trophy, a Ted Lindsay and also a Selkie trophy that Jonathan Taze won. I don't really think anyone can argue that they shouldn't be in the top four, but you definitely could make an argument that the Sedin twins should be ahead of them, but just in my opinion, based off of team success, I had to put Kane and Taze at number three. Moving on at number two, from the Washington Capitals, we have Alexander Ovechkin and Nicholas Backstrom. Now this duo really cemented their legacy after winning that 2017-18 Stanley Cup, and that is the biggest reason why I have them so high 
Shanghai at the number two spot. They have played 13 seasons together from the 2007 8 year all the way up until this current year, the 2019 20 season. Their best combined point total came in the 2009 10 year, where Ovechkin put up 109 points and Nick Backstrom put up 101 for a combined 210 points. Their combined totals for their career 1,995 games played and 2,099 points between the two. Between them, they have a Calder Trophy, an Art Ross, a Stanley Cup, a Conn Smythe, three Hart Trophies, a Ted Lindsay twice, and eight Rocket Richard Trophies. Obviously, most of those trophies coming from Alex Ovechkin, but you can't deny that Nick Backstrom has been an amazing wingman for his entire career to Ovi. And now, finishing out the video, I'm sure everybody saw this coming. At number one, I have Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin from the Pittsburgh Penguins, a duo that have not only had amazing individual success throughout their career, but the Pittsburgh Penguins have been super dominant and have three Stanley Cups to show for it. They have played 14 seasons together from the 2006-07 year all the way up until this current year, the 2019-20 season. Their highest combined point total in one year came in the 08-09 season where Malkin put up 113 points and Sid had 103 for a combined 216 points. Between the two, they have four Art Ross trophies, a Calder trophy, three Conn Smice, three Hart trophies, three Ted Lindsay's, two Rockets, three Cups, and that is just an amazing resume for the two and I don't really think anyone can deny that these guys are the best NHL duo from the 2000s. So that's going to wrap up today's video ranking the 10 greatest NHL duos since 2000 and remember this is just my opinion if you disagree make sure to let me know down in the comment section below what your list would look like and if you want to see more videos like this make sure to drop a like on it and let me know down in the comments that you enjoyed today's video. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you did enjoy please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily NHL content, and I will see you guys all in the next video.